just takes it through the keypad and we're, we're going to do that. Uh, and it just asks for motor settings. Then you get into parameters. You can start getting into individual parameters. Now, you'll see a number show up on your screen. Now, this is what it looks like uh, when you're going through parameters. It's kind of hard to see there, but there's a edit button. So if you want to change the, the thing, you can hit edit, and it allows you to change the parameter. There's also a help button. So if you want to know what that parameter means, you get help. And it gives you an explanation of what that parameter is. Um, I'm trying to get the parameters here. This is the basic I.O. and you notice it's a parameter number. 5.11, uh, 5 5.12, and so on. These parameters, you can search through that and go into the parameter section and actually pull up the fives, the twos, the threes, and so on, uh, which will help you. And so if you're going to do anything custom, you want to open up your book, look at what parameters you want to change, and just mark them. Then it's like <coughs> to go back that way. Here's the wiring diagram for the inputs. Analog input, this is, the, this is the default wiring diagram. This is the one that comes pre-done for you. And this is, uh, if you're going to hook up a meter to it or an output that shows you <coughs> zero to 10 uh, volts out to, to match whatever your zero 100% is, here's what you put. So if you want to tie this to a DDC system, you use this output. And you can get that as feedback as to what position, what, what speed it's commanding the motor to be in. Um, Notice that he mentioned six to eight was uh, what would start the fan or a pump. And if you look right. to the description to the right, DI1 is uh, start forward. Start forward, yeah. That's the default configuration. On the NXS, the default is, you know, start reverse is six to nine, but they took that off of the smart. You can't start reverse. Um, default safety. Yes, a, a fault is a safety. <coughs> now, if you have a, uh, there's a list of faults, uh, over temperature, phase loss, things like that, uh, that will cause, you know, will, will stop the drive. That's on our input. That's an input one. This is a digital input that says, if this contact's made, maybe I have a, on a compressor, I have an oil <coughs> switch, this is a hot oil. Or on the fan, there's some overload switch or something. That's where you would put a small step. And that's where you would mark. Goes yeah, in. some would go in there to say, you know, there's an external problem. And that on a default mode, then that has to be closed for the drive to run. No, that has no, to be open. For the it's drive normally run. open. Yeah, really. Well, that closes that. It can't be changed, but the factory default is open. Okay. There's another parameter that's run enable that you can also wire for yeah. like a free set or smoke. Right, and that one opens on a lock by default. But you got a program out of it. You can set that one of your other inputs to do that. And you can change this input to do that also. All the inputs are adjusted. The reason it's normally open is because if they sure enough if it was normally closed, uh, there would be people wondering why isn't my drive running? And uh, so that, that's the explanation they gave me. And the, uh, the relay output, number one is run, two is fault, three is ready. Those are the defaults, those you can change. But that's what it comes already in the box, so it's ready to go. That's how these are wired up. Um, for the uh, Quick setup parameters. These are your first parameters: min, uh, motor, nominal voltage, and so on. Min, max. All this stuff can be set up from the keypad. And uh, monitoring values, M2s. These are monitor only. You can look at what's going on when you set these up. Fire mode stats. What do you want to do? Get input set up. And uh, if you're setting up PID, use the wizard. It's a lot easier. Um, if you're cascading pumps and fans, 
You can set that up. It's a uh, Ralph will we'll do that for you. Um, the NXS has got that built in, cascaded. It has seven programs built in, just like the program you want to use. The SMART doesn't, the SMART is basically PID and HVAC control. But you do have the ability, because you can get into the parameters to change them. And the parameter numbers are pretty key, and I'll show you on the keypad when you, when you start playing with them, where those show up. And it's right here underneath your menu, but it's kind of hard to read on this screen. But that will show you where, where everything is to, to, and once again, these parameter numbers are key. So if someone actually changes the language on you, so everything's showing up in French or Ebonics or whatever, uh, you can actually uh, just use these numbers to get into the chain, change them over. Is we be on? We be off. <laughs> we be 60 hertz. You don't have that in yours? <laughs> okay. So all these features are addressable and we'll get into it as we get into the drives. Now what I'd like to do is take a table or two and just put it against the wall so we can put one of these drives on there so we can, won't all be crowded around this and move these around. Uh, they do make noise. This is a, uh, I'll leave this one here because it's a two piece. This requires a very good power supply. They are all running on single phase. So I have to turn off the three phase alarm. You go through the wizard and it locks out on the alarm because I got to turn off the phase loss. Okay, so uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's a parameter. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's move that table against the wall.